Hey guys, what's going on? So I want to show you all a new laser I just got yesterday. Uh, this is the Pocket Series Laser from SanwooLaser.com. I do like the look and the overall shape and just how incredibly small this laser actually is. It's advertised as one of the smallest lasers that you can buy. And it certainly is very small. It's not much bigger than an actual cigarette. All right, so there are different wavelengths you can choose from between 405, 445, 520, uh, 638, and 650. Now, of course, the relatively newer diode he has on this particular uh, model is the 505. Now, I'm pretty sure he's using the sharp 35 milliwatt 505 since there isn't very many 35 milliwatt 505 nanometer laser diodes out there. So I'm pretty sure he's using the sharp diode in here. Uh, now, 505 is still considered to be an exotic and rare wavelength. Not that rare, but it is still considered to be exotic. However, the diode itself doesn't cost very much money, so it's not really considered to be super rare and exotic. But I imagine within the next year or two, 505 will pretty much be at 520, where 520 was back then. So 520 used to be an exotic and rare wavelength a couple years ago, or a few years ago, and it's no longer a rare and exotic wavelength since you can pretty much get 520 anywhere. But 505 right now, at this particular time, is still technically considered an exotic wavelength. Now the Pocket Series laser from sandwoodlaser.com actually requires a 10440 size battery, which is basically the lithium version of the AAA cell. Now I think, if I'm not mistaken, they recommend that you use a uh, button top cell in this because uh, for some reason, well actually for some reason, this flat top EFEST um, 10440 actually works fine. I think it's because the positive actually protrudes out like half a millimeter, so it's able to make contact with the battery contact board in the front. Uh, there's only one spring on the inside of this, which is basically on the tail cap. But since this particular cell does protrude out just about a half a millimeter, it's able to make contact. Um, but if you're using a flat top, it doesn't have a, well, it doesn't protrude out this much, then it probably won't work. Uh, but you really are only supposed to use button top cells on this laser since there is no spring on the front. Uh, but the fact that this works is great because this is the only 10 for 40 cell that I've got. So I'm glad it does work. I'll show you guys some close-ups on the laser now. This laser costs about 70 bucks on his website for the 505. Now you can get the G2 lens, which will give you about 30% more power, but the beam divergence will go up just a little bit. So I opted to get the 3E lens because I wanted the beam divergence to be as low as possible. Now the lens on here is crystal clear. I got a magnifying glass and looked up close and you can see there's no imperfections uh, in the lens at all, which is great. Definitely tell. Uh, <laughs> Now, the first thing I noticed on this thing was the machining on this laser is so good, you can't even tell where the indention is, where the tail cap and the head screw off. The head, you can kind of see, if I can get my camera to focus. And I thought the battery actually originally went in through the top, but then I remember that's how you focus the laser. So I thought, well, there's gotta be a way to unscrew the tail cap. But as you guys can see, you can't even tell where it comes off. And I'll show you guys, I'll unscrew this. Now you can see clearly see that it comes off uh, the tail cap does come off and if you screw it back on there it's so perfect that you can't even tell where it's supposed to end or where it starts I'm sorry where it separates it's amazing you really can't even tell even if you look up really close but anyways the cell goes in of course now this laser and I believe all of the pocket series lasers are case negative which basically of course means the positive goes in through the head first like I said, this cell does work just fine, even though it's not a button top. All right, so like I said, you can you can focus the laser by unloosening the head, but at 35 milliwatts, there's really no point in focusing this thing. Tail cap with the switches. Switch feels very solid, by the way, I might add. And I'll show you guys up close the actual diode. SB217HL91. Okay, so I have the three main green wavelengths. Well, really the only three that I've got. I have my uh, C6 build, my 77 milliwatt 520, my 95 milliwatt or 92 milliwatt 532, which is right there from P Man on Laser Pointer Forms. And then, of course, my Sanwu Lasers 505. Now, 
Uh, these are the only three greens that I've got. Uh, but the first thing I noticed with the 505 is how incredibly beautiful this Kohler actually is. If you don't have one, you should certainly find a way to get one because you can build one for really cheap or you can buy one for really cheap. 505 isn't really that expensive. It's, it's relatively uh, inexpensive for being somewhat an exotic wavelength. But I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the normal, well, I'm going to show you all the Kohler that most people are used to, which is, of course, the 532. Everyone knows what the 532 looks like because everyone's got one. So that is 532. Of course, you guys can see what it looks like. It is pretty still. And of course, it's the most visible of the three greens that I've got since it's closer to 555, which is the peak of the visible light spectrum. So 532 is, of course, much brighter sense of visibility as the other ones. Okay, so here is 520. Kind of hard to tell, sort of, but I'll do them side by side so you guys can see so that is 520. Now 520 and 532, they're really not all that different, to be honest. I mean, you can definitely tell that the 520 is a little bit darker, but it's just not as big of a difference as I thought it was gonna be when I first built this thing. But here, of course, is the 505. So you guys can see. And like I said, the camera obviously just cannot do this particular wavelength justice. It's definitely different in person. Um, Definitely different in person. So here is the 532. There we go, much better. So that's 532. And then here is 520. And then of course, here is the 505. Certainly, definitely different. It looks like it's a little bit darker to the green and a slight tiny hint of blue. So that is a quick review of the Sanwu Pocket Series <laughs> 505 laser. All right, thanks for watching.